Going back to something you said Saturday, you mentioned how this team you felt like wasn't a great rebounding team. Just what what makes a team great at rebounding and, and what must this team do to you know get to that level? Well, this team may never be a great rebounding team. Not everybody's a great rebounding team. You know, um, uh, Fabian White was an outstanding rebounder when he uh, played for Dave Martinez at uh, um, Atascacita. Josh Carlton came here outstanding. I'm talking about defensive rebounders. Um, uh, I've had four or three elite defensive rebounding guards. Uh, Damian Dotson. Um, well, the best one I ever had was Nate Hinton. And anywhere, I've never had a guard rebound the ball as well as Nate Hinton. You don't make somebody as good as Nate. It's Nate's motor. I mean, he just had an unbelievable motor. Uh, Tremont doesn't have Nate's motor. And I'm, you know, unless we're doing some kind of uh, transplant surgery, he's not going to have it either. So it's not who he is. As, as coaches, things aren't always black and white. You know, so, well, if I could make him a great rebounding team, uh, we already would be. What we have to do is just keep emphasizing it and getting our guards to scrap and get in there. Last year, we had two six five wings and uh, Kyler and Tajay. This year, Marcus is six foot. Tremont's uh, uh, six four, um, and um, you know neither one of them instinctively are great rebounders. So that's just something that's just going to continue to work out. In regards to how you said everybody wastes their turn in your guys' program, and I'm curious. You said that says a lot more about the players' character and, and their families. Um, from a recruiting standpoint, is that something? I'm sure that's something that you look for. Um, when you are bringing in those students, I'm just curious, how, how do you evaluate that? Or how do you learn about a, a, a student's you know, character when you're trying to recruit them and see if they're a right fit for your program? I have no idea how to explain that. I just know. You know, I mean, I, I just know. I've been doing this for 40 years, Andy. I can tell a lot about a kid's character by, um, does he slap every all his teammates' hands in the layup line, for instance? You know, how does what's his what's he like when he comes off the floor and he's sitting on the bench? Uh, does he look the coach in the eye when a referee makes a bad call? How does he react? Um, all, all those things. There's there's a myriad of things. There's not one thing. But coaches know uh, about kids. There's a lot of kids that uh, you you have no idea what you're looking at other than you see he's a five star. And you say, why don't we recruit that kid? Um, but you don't know how to recruit and you don't know how to evaluate. You just know how to read a kid's name and what he's rated. If that was the, if that was the case, we'd all get fired. So you don't recruit kids based on what other people's opinion is. The only opinion that matters when I see a kid is mine. I have zero interest in what other people think of it. Um, you know, first time I saw J. Juan Roberts, for instance, he had me at hello. Uh, but I, I didn't pull up his uh, bio to see who's recruiting him because it didn't matter. He's a great kid. He had a motor, um, athletic, had size, and what I was looking for. Um, Ramon Walker, tough kid. You know, I recruit good kids that are tough kids that are coachable, and, and we feel like we can help them become better players. And that's where you have a great staff and a great, uh, um, great program. You know, we have, we have an outstanding program. So we, we take a lot of good kids and, and player development is so important uh, to us.